Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make the manger from my little baby Jesus. Um, so we have baby Jesus who comes out here, little baby, and he's in a manger. So that's what we're going to do today, this little manger or little basket really, isn't it? So I'm going to use two colours. I'm using the caramel, rainbow loom caramel, and I'm using, this is actually, um, Loom Bands brand, it's their skin tone. I've got lots of it left and uh, I don't like them very much, but I do like the color. So I'm going to use those for my um, actual main color of my basket. But as you can see, the under the underside is going to be the caramel. We will do the baby itself in another tutorial. So two colors, caramel and um, whatever kind of light beigey brown you have. We're going to start with the caramel for the underside. I'm also going to have a couple of stitch markers uh, ready to use and I'm going to have my scissors because I'm going to cut my little end cap off when I don't need it because it just gets in the way. We're going to start, instead of doing a magic ring, we're going to start by doing a chain of eight. Okay. So I've got eight here and one more for my end cap. My end cap, I'm going to start by doing a single band around my hook twice and then I'm going to chain these eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight okay so there's my little eight and there's the three little loops here that are my starting band which are my little it's my little end cap now we're going to go this is the eighth stitch this is the seventh stitch this is the sixth stitch we're going into the sixth stitch like this and we're going to do five stitches of single crochet not in this one stitch but as we work our way down so our first band is going to go through like so one over the other and then pull that loop through these two here like so okay now if you want to you can put a stitch marker on the end here just so that you know and you're going to put it on the seventh stitch so that's your eighth stitch this is your seventh it's at the very end okay this one bends over to form the um, shape the uh, the other the curve around the end so we're going to do our next single crochet in the next stitch so we've done one this is number two three four and five Now, as you can see, we have one more stitch here. This is our this is our end cap here, the three little loops. But we have one more stitch right here. Okay. Now, in this, we're going to do three single crochets in that last stitch that has the end cap in it. So do the first one. Do your second one, and just budge the end cap out the way. We're actually going to chop that off. There's my second one. Now I'm going to snip this end cap off because it's in the way, all right? Just the end cap, not your actual stitch. So snip that. And you don't need to worry about it anymore because these the two single crochets you already have in there are keeping this band closed. Do your third single crochet in that end stitch so you've done three in here you're now going to do single crochet five of them down so we've already done three in this one so the next one is in here number one this is number two number three number four And this end one here is number five. Okay, there's our stitch marker in the beginning one. What we're going to do is do three single crochets in this one, this end one that has our stitch marker. So three of them, all right? So one, two, three, 
two. Now I'm going to move my stitch marker to that second one. And I'm moving it to the second one because we're doing three and two is in the middle. And here's my third one in that same stitch. Okay, there's three. Now what I need to do is in this next stitch, which is this one here, next to it, I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. So that's an increase. Then I'm going to do four single crochets. Moving down one, two, three, and here's my fourth. Okay, now I'm spreading this out a bit. If you have a look, this is going to be, you can see the three single crochets in here. This one at the top here is my middle one. So in this one next to my middle one, I'm going to do two single crochets. So one and two in the same stitch. That's an increase. This is my top one and I'm going to do three in it. One, two, and three. And then this one is the one next to it and I'm going to do two. So we had two, three, two, one, and two, and then I'm going to work down again until I get to the one prior to my centre one here that my band is on. So I'm going to do single crochet until I get to that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the one before I get to my center one. I'm going to do two. One, and two. In this center one, I'm doing three, but I'm going to move my stitch marker to the second one. So one, two, move my stitch marker. Oh, if I can, and we're doing one more in that stitch. Three, in the next one to it, we're doing two. One, and back in that same stitch. Two, okay. Now we're gonna go around one more time. So we're gonna do single crochet, down until we get here, and we're going to do two, three, two, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, Six and seven. Now, this is the one that has the three stitches in it. This one up the top here, that's got two. This has got three. So this one has two. So in it, we're going to do two in here. One and, oops, two. Then we're going to do three. So I'm telling you, fibs, we're going to do two again. One and two. Two in the next one. One and two. 
and two in the next one. So that's four stitches around the top that have two in them, okay? And then we're going to go down doing singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going to do two, two in this one, and I'm going to finish on two, on my last stitch which is here, one and so that's my last stitch. So that's going to be the base. Let's count how many stitches we have in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. That's thirty-three stitches that I have in total for my base okay so that is the base here now what we're going to do still using the caramel bands we're going to start moving our basket up and we're going to work in the front post so what we're going to do push your hook through your first stitch and then back through the second so you poke up this little post here and we're going to go through and do a single crochet and move your stitch marker to that. Alright, so that's number one. Let's go around and we're doing this all the way around. Just a single crochet in this post that's at the front. Oops, busy undoing everything. Just relink these.
carefully, does it? I nearly, nearly missed this one here. Alright, so that was my last one. I'm now going to go through my first stitch. As you can see, there's my stitch marker, and I'm going to change colour. And I'm going to change colour to the beigey brown that I have, and we're doing single crochet. So go through, but it's a changing of colour. So I have to do my slip stitch first, and I'm going to move my stitch marker to that. And then I'm going to go all the way around doing a single crochet in every single stitch. Okay. As I said, these are a beige colour, a light brown from Loom Bands, and they're not the nicest. Um, I didn't have enough of the uh, tan colour from Rainbow Loom, and so I've resorted to sort of finishing up stock that I had of this, because I really don't like them very much. But from the colour, I love the colour. It's difficult, isn't it? Around we go. See, let's get that one. There we are. So I'm back at the beginning, and as you can see, there's my first colour change, my slip stitch. I'm going into my first stitch. I ignore that slip stitch, go into my first stitch, and do a single crochet, and I'm changing my stitch marker to that first stitch. Okay, so this is how the little base is coming up. Now, as you can see, I've done one, two, three, and four has the little ruffle on. So I'm going to do two more rounds of single crochet in the beige and I will catch you back when we've done two more rounds. Okay? So I've done my two extra rounds. I have in total here, if you count these little lines here, one, two and three. Okay? Now my fourth and final round is going to have uh, I call them sort of like the little frills and what we're going to do is use three bands okay so how we do this we're going to I'm going to just use my second stitch marker so I'm thinking how to show you I use my second stitch marker okay to go through the loop that is on my uh, hook so I can take my hook off and be free I'm going to twist it into figure eight and then I'm going to do that again another figure eight and once more a figure eight. Now this is quite band intensive but it does work okay and what I'm going to do take this off keep it on my hook I've got these back here I'm going to go through my first stitch I'm going to pull the band through and do a normal single crochet like that and then I'm going to slide these three bands on okay now I can take this off because it's very clear 
where I start. This is where I start. However, I'm going to pop it back on here, on the stitch, while I have those three bands on. Let me just try and angle this so you can see, like that. Okay, there's my stitch marker on here. It's holding these bands on because now I need to take my hook again and go one, two, and three. Again, pick up my stitch that's on my stitch marker, keeping those other bands on the loop. Go through my second stitch, which is here, and do a single crochet move this one over so that's now trapped in there and budge these ones down so it's similar to how I did Santa and again put your stitch marker there and one two three pick up your stitch go through your third stitch we're doing a single crochet and sliding these three down and putting your stitch marker back on and wrapping another three. So we're going to do this all the way around. It is, it's time consuming. It is going to take a little while and I will meet you back when we are just about ready to be finished and we'll tie this all off together at the same time so make sure you slide them all down and then put your stitch marker I'm just going to tie that in so you can see you see how it sort of forms that higgledy piggledy look to it so let's work our way around I'll catch you back up and we'll do the last couple together okay so I stopped about eight stitches around um, from from the top here. Now, when you take your baby and place it in, it is sort of a loose fit. You can either just continue around doing your single crochet with your three little bands on. If you want it to be slightly tighter, which is completely up to you, it's, a, it's an option. What I would suggest is when you do your three bands, one, two, and three, put them on your hook, pick up your stitch. Instead of just doing a single crochet, go through and you're going to do, um, instead of doing a single crochet and pulling your band through, go through the back and the back of the next one and do a decrease, one over the other, like so, join your loop in and slide down. So for those last eight, you could do a decrease, which would sort of tighten it all up if you want that. If you don't, it doesn't matter. One, and two, and three. Pick up my stitch. And again, you can do your decrease. You don't have to just do the back loop. If you want to, I and mean, it's going to be hidden anyway, you can go through the entire loop like that and do a full decrease instead of a hidden decrease. It really is not going to matter. Just one over the other, join in your loop, pull your bands through, and again, put your stitch marker on. One, two, three. You went through this one, so you're going one and two. Oops, and I pulled it way too far. Let's try that again. Pull through. And I have one more to do. And I think this just sort of tightens it up a little bit, and I prefer it like this. One, two, three. Go through one and two. Pull back. 
open over the other, join in your loop, slide those extra bands on. Now, we're at the beginning again, you've already gone through this one. So, what I'm going to do, I've got one stitch here that I'm going to do a single crochet in, okay? So, I'm going to do my stitch marker. I am going to do three, I'm not doing a decrease. Pick up my stitch, go through that last stitch here with a single crochet, add my loop, join these in, slide them on. To do my tie off, I'm going to go into my first stitch, pull through, doing a slip stitch, Oops, let's try that again. Got a bit excited there. First stitch, we're doing a slip stitch and tying off. And then your tie off band, this little tie off band, you're going to hide on the inside under the little V's that you have here. Okay, so push your hook through the inside, through these little V's. like so, grab the end of your tie-off band and pull back through and pull it back so that you can't see it but without distorting the shape so like so now what I'm going to do is I like to have the baby's head which is less bulbous in at the top like that and that's how I made the little manger. I'm not worried about some of these being longer than the other. It's supposed to be straw or hay, so it's supposed to look a little bit higgledy-piggledy. But there is the manger for my baby. And next, we'll make the little baby Jesus himself. Hope you enjoy making. Take care. Bye.